Hi, and thanks for joining me for another LinkedIn tip where we keep it short, simple and specific or KISS for short. In this video, I'm going to share with you a four part structure that you can use to write your LinkedIn profile summary, also known as your LinkedIn profile about section. I recently rewrote my about section, so I'll use that as an example to demonstrate this four part structure. But first, I want to share with you some very important tips that you should keep in mind when you're planning and writing your LinkedIn profile summary. Tip number one, do not use a template. The purpose of your LinkedIn profile summary is to communicate your uniqueness and your personality. And since there is only one of you, your LinkedIn profile summary should be unique and original as well. And if you're using a template, chances are that somebody out there is using that same template, which means you're not original anymore. And if recruiters really want to, they can check to see if you did use a template. And that could work against you because it shows that you're not being creative and you're not being original. Tip number two, LinkedIn gives you 2000 characters to write your LinkedIn profile summary. Use as many of those as you can without sounding boring or repetitive. And this leads to tip number three, tell a story. Make sure that your profile summary flows, that each of the sections are in some way connected or flow from one section to the next section. You don't want to have a profile summary with unrelated paragraphs because that makes it not interesting to read. The fourth tip is keyword optimize your profile. It's the same as keyword optimizing a web page. It means that you want to include keywords or key phrases that recruiters use to find potential employees. And words or phrases that you can use to optimize your profile include the skills that you have. For example, if you know any software tools, uh, maybe Microsoft Office or Microsoft Project or any coding languages, but also soft skills like working in teams or communicating with others or solving problems. All of those can be considered as keywords or key phrases. So make sure you include them in your LinkedIn profile summary. Tip number five is write in the first person. This means using the pronoun I. It's your profile right from your perspective. Tip number six is use headings, subtitles and bullet points when necessary. This helps to break up the text and it makes it easier for, for the reader to read through your profile. Or if they want to skim, it helps them to do that quickly. And then the final tip is don't aim for perfection. Good enough is actually good enough. Write a couple of drafts in a word processing tool like Word. Go through it, edit it, improve it. Make sure that the spelling is perfect by using a spell checker and then copy and paste it into LinkedIn. The important part is that you go back to it over the next two or three days and reread it with fresh eyes and fresh ideas and then make those small changes. But it's important to get something out there and you can make the final corrections or edits once it's already posted. And remember, just like your cover letter or your resume, your LinkedIn profile summary will always be a work in progress you should always have it updated based on your new skills, your new accomplishments or any type of courses 
or professional development that you do in fact participate in. All right, let's get to the four part structure. In part one, introduce yourself. Start your LinkedIn profile summary with an interesting hook. A hook is a short sentence or question that captures the reader's attention and motivates them to keep reading the rest of your profile. In your introduction, you want to talk about who you are as a professional, what you do for work, and what value you can bring to an organization. And again, this could be in one or two paragraphs, but remember to keep your paragraphs short. In section two, highlight your skills, your experiences, and your accomplishments. I also recommend that you add some of your values or what's important to you in a workplace or professional situation. These days, companies place a lot of importance on organizational culture and making sure that there is a fit between the company and the new employee. In the third section, you can talk about what you do outside of work. Now, this is an optional section, but you never know when any of your hobbies or interests or activities that you participate in might capture the attention of a recruiter, of a decision maker, or anybody else who is considering connecting with you. And then finally, in the last section, include a call to action. Ask the reader to connect, connect with you to discuss certain things that you included in your second section, which included some of your skills, experiences, and accomplishments. You might say something like, connect with me to talk more about how I was able to reduce costs or improve efficiency or increase productivity or improve safety, or reduce the number of sick days in the organization, or to improve uptime for machinery. Whatever it is, give the reader a reason to connect with you and ask them for it. Okay, let's get to my LinkedIn profile summary so that I can show you, as an example, the four different sections that I just described. Here you can see my LinkedIn profile summary, which I rewrote not too long ago. In the red bold text are the titles of the four sections that I just described. I didn't actually include that on my LinkedIn profile summary. But these headings here in the black bold text, I did include in my profile summary. And I made sure to include informal headings so that they are more interesting and easier to read, kind of like chapter titles in a novel. So the first section, I started with an interesting hook. I'm hoping that after the reader reads this, they will be wondering how I support my students and clients and what I do to support them. And I'm hoping that will encourage the reader to keep on reading. In the second sections, section, I highlighted my skills, experiences, and achievements, which include teaching business courses in college, facilitating resume writing and job interview workshops, and also some of the achievements, including my students and clients' overwhelmingly positive feedback, uh, the creation of my YouTube channel, and of course, finding my calling or my career. And all of this is directly related to how I help my students and clients. Moving on, I had mentioned that section number three, talking about who you are outside of your work, which includes activities, hobbies, and interests, is optional. But I like to include it because it adds another dimension to your personality. And recruiters, hiring managers and employers like well-rounded people. But if you notice in the last phrase here, I made the connection between what I'd like to do or focus on outside of work 
with my work because the stuff that I do to play helps me calm my mind, get new ideas, and come up with solutions to challenging problems, which are all very important in what I do for work. And then the last section is the call to action. Notice that I finished with the phrase, connect with me now. And in the previous sentences, I gave the reader some reasons to connect with me. Now, in one of the tips, I had mentioned that you should keyword optimize your LinkedIn profile summary. And here is how I made sure that I did this. I copied and pasted my LinkedIn profile summary that I wrote in Microsoft Word into a Word Cloud Generator. There are lots of them that are free to use. All you need to do is type in Word Cloud Generator into your search engine and choose whichever one you like. I chose this one because it was one of the top ones that appeared in my search engine. So after that, we would choose the number of words we would like to appear in our word cloud. I'm going to reduce it to 15 and then press visualize. And down here, I can see the top 15 keywords that this word cloud generator selected from my profile. And I'm happy with these because they are exactly related to the type of work I do. And you can also connect some of these words to have key phrases, such as job search or career development. And that is exactly what I want. Now, if you want to see how many times these words appear in your LinkedIn profile summary, you just have to generate a word list. And notice that the word job appears 10 times, career seven, search four, and so on. So I can see that my LinkedIn profile summary is keyword optimized, and I am happy with that. I hope this tip was useful for you. And as always, if you have any comments or questions about what you have seen here or anything else, let me know in the comments section below this video.